what a week it has been. My old eyes have seen a lot, but I tell you, I haven't seen what we've seen this week. The city has been shaken, shaken, shaken by the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's harvest time in Jesus' name. Is there anybody who's worried about the rain? If you stand here, I stand with you. And I tell you what, the blessing of God will fall upon your life tonight. In the mornings, we have the fire conference where registered delegates, pastors, they have to come real early. So we start at 6.30 in the morning and we preach and inspire them to also be evangelists and preach the gospel. The final fire conference meeting we had, believe it or not, 150,000 delegates who prayed for the baptism in the Holy Spirit and empowered them to go out in the power of God and the power of God fell. Some of you know a lot about the Bible or you know a lot about religion, but religion cannot save you. Jesus is the only one that can save you. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He will catch you where you fall. He will lift you up out of sin. He will lift you out of darkness. He will lift you out of bondage. And he will lift you higher and higher and higher all the way to heaven. You are going to call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Pains on her hands, on her body, headache and toothache. All of them got healed instantly. Hallelujah! Look at this. Hallelujah! I tell you, we serve a miracle working God. Say amen. So tonight as we pray for these prayer requests, we are believing God for mighty miracles to happen. Jesus came not just to be the light, he came to be the light of the world in you. It's your turn to be the light, the light to Nigeria, the light to Africa. You are the light of the world because the light of the world lives 